Today's episode is brought to you by... Welcome to a brand new... Henry even admits that, like, his band is talented. He's an untalented hack. Well, we're, when, when he pulls out a, uh, a Detroit Rock City or a Stairway to Heaven, let me know. You can get on a piano, figure out the chord structure. Nag, 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 nag! Kind of like Jared Leto. He's a douche, but his band's good. I mean, come on! Everything before that sucks. It's just noise. <laughs> All right, because I've heard Rollins' band before, right after he's in Black Flag, and he's still experimenting. Well, Greg Jinn was the guitar player songwriter in that, wasn't he? And he's also a creepy cat man. So when I lived in Long Beach, we lived down the street from SST Records. Really? And it smelled like cat piss. Really? Why? Because he had like yeah. 20 cats. And then his wife would come into our store to say what's up, and she'd smell like cat piss. Oh, yeah! Before I continue, let's bring on today's sponsor. No thanks to you. Yep, no thanks to you. We don't get any fucking hype, any, anything that really matters. And... We opened a store right next to what's now the, the tattoo shop or uh, tobacco shop. Uh, after they knocked down the shell station next to the whiskey. Yeah, yeah. And he opens up a record store for SST Records. And I went in there just like nonchalant. And like, hi, how's it going? You know? But my hair's down on my ass, and I walk in there, and the guy pegs me like for some type of Metallica guy, and he's, it, it, immediately he's digging into me, and he comes, he says, get out of my store, and he comes around the counter, and he's wearing a, uh, a neon yellow tutu, and a jock strap, and a, remember Cheech Marin in... Yeah, you saw him when he was eccentric. I saw him when he was hoarding. I can only imagine how he is now. Well, eccentric, hoarding... Uh, you know, the difference is, is uh, $100,000, $200,000 a year income, you know. When you don't have the money, then you're, you're, you're a hoarder. But if you have money, they call you eccentric or artistic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd go into detail, but you know, I'm just basically just trolling all of you anyway. So, whatever. I'd say special thanks to the people, but I gotta go on Sub Pals and YT Pals just to try to get 100 views on here because the algorithm could suck my balls. Fuck this website. Fuck Facebook. Fuck Twitter. Seriously. This is the only thing I got going for myself, and I'm barely scraping by because no thanks to you. Go fuck yourselves. All of you. Fuck this site. Coming soon to both Lost Anarchy Magazine and Get Watch Mojo channels. We got some badass graphic novel reviews and of course I'd like to make a shout out to our patron Count Moribond my homie from the Rambo I'm not gonna say what he does but this guy is badass check out his channel he does a lot of stuff on satanic poetry and other satanic Bible studies and also a shout out to one of our other new patrons Janitor J I've been a fan of his for years and oh, talk about nostalgia huh and of course, shout out to our usual patrons, Ryan Zacker and the Fly Attractor. Later, bitches. Check, check, check out our Patreon. And linked in the description, as you can tell. And us, and us, and us, support our cause. We don't, we don't, we don't get paid for this shit. 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 shit.